smells so good it's all like coming out of the bag and stuff so yeah let's get the fuck into it i ordered crab corner and i ordered it on doordash um because i am lazy and i never used doordash before it was okay it kind of took long they really don't deliver crab like anywhere like out of vegas if you know good places to get crab and seafood in vegas please comment down below because yeah, it's supposed to be for two, but it's just me here, so. <laughs> I'm putting Old Bay seasoning on it because I like Old Bay flavor. I don't know if they put that on there, but I like it real heavy. And, you know, I like when you can see the seasoning. I think I like the clams more. Ooh. I think I like clams more than mussels, but I really like both of them. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what this is, so. Steamer or something? Yeah, so. Um, basically, I got this steamer. It comes with clams, mussel, black mussels, shrimp, corn. Dungeness crab and snow crab, I guess. It's a half pound of each, I believe. So, I think it's a half pound of each thing. So, yeah, which I didn't realize. It was kind of expensive, so that kind of makes sense. But I kind of just took what I got. I just wanted to treat myself because I really wanted it, honestly. And I haven't gotten, like, golden crab or that stuff in so long, so. The past two days, I worked a... Um, convention out here I don't know if you guys know but 
a lot of conventions are held in Vegas. Like we have a big convention center and they do like CES and stuff here. So I've worked magic before, like a long time ago. So I went to work this convention. Of course people want to text me while I'm trying to eat. Like, don't bother me. I'm eating. That's food and stuff like like they be mad I didn't share with them type shit <laughs> like boy you didn't put in on this man mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. this shit is so motherfucking good delicious I think I'm gonna go for round two because I'm still a bit hungry call me crazy but at least you call me I don't like the corn um I did taco Tuesday recently which I actually vlogged I think I vlogged a good amount of that to actually post it on the on the channel so cool hopefully taco Tuesday vlog will be up soon my uncle actually brought some jalapeno margarita stuff um and i don't really like it that much it was just to mix with the tequila and stuff it already has liquor in it um so i just mixed that with some actual margarita mix and put some lime in it so it tastes better so i got margaritas um i'm probably gonna warm up this other side and then go in on it as well because i'm still kind of hungry and that shit was just so good you know you can just keep eating Like, <laughs> it was crazy. 
might sound surprising to some people, but nowadays I find myself not having much to say. <laughs> I think that's also a reason too why I've been on YouTube less, is cause it's like, I don't know. I just have less to say. <laughs> I think way more like than I talk, if that makes sense. And I just do a lot more like taking in information. Um, Cause I feel like that's super important right now. Like just overall educating yourself because not being ignorant is super important and a lot of us are ignorant but it's not like our fault and really being ignorant it just means that you just don't have the knowledge like of something which is fine like people be like super upset to be called ignorant but pe we're all ignorant at one point you know and then we we educate ourselves on topics and we're not ignorant on them anymore but sometimes we don't have the tools and stuff to educate ourselves right away and sometimes those uneducated thoughts and opinions should not be put out into the world because it's just ignorant shit you know we don't need ignorant shit put out into the world so I just take that into consideration a lot more like I didn't know that you know and maybe some people maybe this is your first time hearing this and maybe you'll take it into consideration or maybe not but uh, when you're ignorant you really don't need to be putting and spewing ignorant things out into the world it will be a lot better for everyone for you to educate yourself first because some people are also ignorant on topics and they may take what you're saying as being educated when you may be ignorant yourself. I'm so freaking full. I almost killed both of them, but I didn't. So whatever. I don't even care. I'm just gonna save it for uh, leftovers or whatever. It's already getting dark outside. Well, it's dark down here and it's six. Like I'm so sick of this shit. So on this first one, I need some more eyes. But, um, yeah, so, we did major damage. I finished the whole first one. This left side over here is empty, and then this right side is still stuff I'm going to eat. I'm going to save it for later. Look, give me a little, uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, thumbnail. So, yeah, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this mukbang. Um, a bitch was hungry, so I was going to eat anyway. So I was like, yeah, uh, let's just try this out. Um, I'm going to try to keep doing them and see if they get any better. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll catch y'all next time, gang. We out this bitch. <laughs> what it is, hoes, a west set. Can that bitch get in them good? <laughs> okay. So, hey guys. It is Diamond. And today I am here to talk to you guys about my natural hair. So, I went ahead and washed my hair today. So, I thought what better time to give you guys a natural hair update than before I put it in a style um, it's been a long time since I did a natural update. I really do them sporadically because of the fact that I really don't wear my natural hair that much. I don't wear it on a schedule. I don't wash it on a schedule. I don't none of that. I can say that I have made my hair a lot more natural, a lot more natural. I made my hair a lot more manageable than it once was. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the products I've been using and um, just show you guys what I do with my hair. I guess I could just take this down so you guys can see. This is my natural hair. It's pretty dry at this point that we're at right now. I've had that 
Ooh, Jim and I wants to say hi. Say hi, Jim. Uh, my hair is 100% natural. I've never gotten a relaxer or anything like that. Or I don't, like, I have, I've never put a relaxer or anything in my hair. Um, never dyed my hair or anything like that. So, just in case you didn't know, natural hair just means that you've never chemically processed your hair. You can flat iron your hair all you want, do different styles, but as long as you've never chemically processed your hair, your hair growing out of your head, then it doesn't matter if you wear wigs, weaves, it doesn't matter if you flat iron your hair or style it, you are a natural. So yeah, I'm technically a natural. Um, and yeah, I've been working on getting my hair more healthy just because I know I... It, it, I was neglecting it for a while, so it was pretty dry, but I think I've been doing a pretty good job, and I think it's getting more and more healthy every, like, it's getting healthier as we go. So, yeah, I also have made it a lot more even than it was, because there was a lot more scraggly pieces like these that are just hanging down, so I went through and cut those, like, weeks ago. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to cut my own hair all at one time, like, just chop um and i don't think i need a big chop that's another thing i see people all the time like saying oh i want to do a big chop i want to do a big chop and i think that big chopping has become one of those things that people made into kind of like a trend so people think it's trendy to just cut all your hair off but um i don't believe that everybody needs to do a big chop i think some people's hair is okay um and you just might need to cut your ends or get a haircut but a haircut and a big chop is two different things. Like, you don't always need to take all your hair off and be bald, sis. Like, I, I and look, look at me. Like, I don't have the head shape for it. I'm not cutting all my hair off. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I've just been doing small trims that I do myself so that I don't fuck up my hair. Even though I really just need to get a haircut and cut, like, all my ends and stuff off. But pretty much besides that, the rest of my hair has been you know doing pretty well I don't actually know what I don't I don't actually know what kind of curl pattern I have lately I've been basically just saying that I have like a 4 4B um like a 4B kind of thing so yeah, you guys let me know what you think, if you guys can tell. This is what my hair looks like. Yeah, I don't really have like curly hair, it's definitely more on the kinky side. These are the products I've been using. Mane and Tail Deep Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I also use this Afog Curlrific Textured Hair Wash, of course, because I have textured hair. And this Natural Moisturizing Conditioner for Natural Hair by Design Essentials. Been using this. I actually really love this. I bought a bunch of these at Sally's on sale. But all those products together have um, done really good for my hair. I notice now it feels at least a little moisturized when I get out. It doesn't feel like brittle and dry. 